Growing basil in containers is easy. You can see here I'm reusing old tires to create containers in my garden. It is a system that works well even for different types of herbs. And you can see that the, my plant is thriving. Healthy, wide open leaves. Some of them have gone into flowering. And the plant is bushy. The first tip is to make sure that your container does not go dry completely. Keep the soil moist so that your plants remain ever healthy and you can harvest them frequently. Look at the nice, thick, healthy set of leaves in my plant. So wide because the next tip is that this plant loves warm. You cannot put it in a shaded area where it does not receive the warm sunlight. Also, if you can avoid watering the leaves, please do so. You can see that my plants have no spots. They are healthy, looking good. Basil requires full sun to grow. So here you can see I chose a container in a position where my plant will get some shade at some point during the day. So my bougainvillea plant will provide some shade because too much sun will scorch your basil leaves and to get big good leaves your plant should get some shade at some point during the day Mature manure and compost is sufficient to supply the nutrients that your basil plants need to thrive. Top up your container with compost and mature manure occasionally and mix it up with the soil in your container. To ensure that your plants get a constant supply of the nutrients they need. So this helps to maintain a nice green color from the bottom of the plant to the top. Basil is an annual plant and you can harvest it frequently all through the year as long as your plant is thriving. To get a bushy plant like this in your container, keep on harvesting the plant to encourage the side shoots to grow. Basil is a herb in the mint family and you can propagate it using the cuttings just make a clean cut and stand it in water ensure that you are, when you're selecting the plants that you want to use to propagate your plants they have not gone into flowering or shown any signs of flowering because such plants have their attention on flowering select the ones that do not have any signs of flowering and stand them in water so that they can develop roots and later on 
you can transplant them into other containers to get a continuous supply of basil. This is a nice, beautiful side shoot that has shot up after harvesting. So this one is not showing any signs of flowering. I'm going to cut it at this point. Let's make a clean cut. I'm going to remove the lower leaves. Once you've trimmed your plant like this, just get a container with clean water and stand it in the water. So in some few days, it will develop roots. For the leaves that you cut, you can use them to make some tea. The flowers are also edible. Although eating the leaves with plants that have gone into flowering, they may taste bitter. But if you choose to remove the flowers, do not discard them. Use the flowers to make some nice cooking oil with some good aroma.